Hello everyone, welcome back to Linked Frequency. I am Vaibhav Sugandhi. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the fundamental definitions of electronic industry. We are going to talk about what are sensors, what are actuators, what are controllers and what are development boards. We are also going to talk about the applications of these specific terminologies where we are going to use and how we are going to use in our entire tutorial. Without wasting a time, let's get started. Great, I am using a screen in front of me right now and I am trying to explain you with the help of mind map. We are going to talk about the basic definitions as I already said, where I am going to cover about the sensors, actuators, controllers and also development boards. These are the very important definitions you must know before jumping into any tutorial further. That's why we are taking this in, in the advance of any development activity that we are going to do in the future with respect to Arduino development board. First of all, let me look into what is sensor and how it is going to help us in the process of designing our DIY projects. First of all, the definition of sensor is quite fascinating to me because with my experience in industry, I came up with this definitions and it holds goods in all industry and all the way with respect to sensor uh, terminology as a, as a whole. First of all, sensor definition is all about it is an electronic device which converts physical quantity into electrical quantity. Consider any physical quantity if it is converted into electrical quantity for the purpose of monitoring, measurement or storing or processing, whatever it is, we are using an intermediary device which is so called sensor. If it is converting light energy into digital information which talks about how much light intensity here then it is a sensor device which converts physical quantity into electrical quantity. There are different different physical quantity which we can convert into electrical quantity for the purpose of monitoring, measurement, storing or accessing the data with respect to whatever happening in the environment where temperature, humidity, wind, wind energy or maybe a wind speed also a light intensity are the major things which we convert day to day basis so that we can monitor how the environment around us. And there are a couple of examples for the sensors. First one is DHT11 sensor, which is responsible for converting temperature and humidity into electrical energy so that we can monitor and we can you know, measure how much temperature around that particular sensor, which is ambient temperature monitoring sensor. And we have an IR sensor, which will detect the motion or it will detect the object in front of it, which is again a conversion of a light energy from one point to another point. Again, we have ultrasonic sensor, which is uh, now one kind of a sensor which uses the ultrasonic sound wave principle to monitor what is the distance between a sensor node and the object. So these are the sensors which is responsible for converting physical quantity into electrical quantity. That is the definition is all about. It's an electronic device which converts physical quantity into electrical quantity. Now let me look into actuator because we, we need to learn both of them in a first goal or maybe in the same period so that we can understand the difference between sensor and actuator. According to me, definitions of sensor and actuator are like this, wherein the actuator is, it's an electronic device again, which converts electrical quantity into physical quantity, exactly vice versa of sensor. This particular device or electronic uh, you know, device which is responsible for converting electrical signals into physical quantity which can be generated for the purpose of any application. Say for example, if we are using a speaker, we are converting our electrical energies or electrical signal into a physical quantity which is a sound wave. And that's why we call it as output device or maybe uh, actuator. The same way we have a LED or maybe we have a LED bulb in our home which is converting electrical energy into a light energy which is electrical quantity into physical quantity. These electronic devices are so called actuators. For example, we have LEDs which is most popular and which you can easily relate and easily understand. We have heaters in our home which converts electrical energy into a, you know, heating energy which is again a physical quantity. We have a motors which are very wonderful and very wonderful innovation in the entire world where they convert electrical signal into a specific rotation or a specific movement. And we have a buzzer which is a kind of a speaker which converts electrical signal into a sound energy. So these are the different different examples of actuators. Let me talk about what are controllers. 
again the controllers are the brain of entire embed system or electronic uh, device which we are using day to day basis we are calling them as a central processing units which are nothing but the place where the data is processed the sensor and actuators are connected to this centric point where all the data is collected and processed and then delivered to the actuator as per the requirement so by definition a controllers are a central processing units for any embedded and iot device because nowadays iot and embedded technology is growing like anything so we need embedded system within every iot device that we are developing so hence it's a central processing unit within embedded and iot technology or iot device which is responsible for certain application with a dedicated firmware firmware is nothing but a software that that we are going to develop in near future right so that software is responsible for certain application and the entire system is responsible for certain application hence it is called controller which controls all the actuators based on the data from sensors connected to it so if we go by uh, different different types of controllers available in market in a broader concept we have a 16 bit 8 bit 32 bit and 64 bit controllers wherein 32 bit and 64 bit are more towards a processor wherein 8 bit and 16 bits more towards a controller controller is a miniature version or a single core of entire processor you can say in processor we have multiple controllers which are responsible for different different dedicated application wherein the controller is a very smaller version and dedicated for one task and dedicated for one application and we use them as a specific application oriented development uh, you know devices in, in in electronic industry we have a very wide examples for this particular controllers i mean we we have abundant opportunities nowadays to select any controller for your project wherein avr based controller and pic based controller and uh, arm based controllers are very popular and very uh, easily available in market at least in india and and over all the world i believe so that that is the reason i'm i'm quoting example as avr controllers and a pic controller and arm processor and controllers available now let me talk about the development board now we we are going step by step actually sensor and actuators are very important thing which converts electrical quantity into physical physical into electrical by by definition and then we spoke about actuator and we spoke about controller which is all about the processor or maybe a central processing unit which is responsible for processing a data let me talk about the development board this is the most important definition actually development board is the integrated circuit it's it's a combination of sensor actuator controller and other peripherals which are essential for developing any project so this integrated circuit is dedicated for prototyping say for example you you came up with one idea and you wanted to implement that idea you need some setup for that right you need not to prepare that setup all the time whenever you come up with the idea you should not spend your half of the work or half of the time to build a setup for that instead of that a smart people in the world and smart people like engineers and all they came up with the idea to make a development board which is a setup for implementing any prototyping idea or anything that you wanted to do a prototyping level you can develop by using this particular circuit hence it is so called integrated circuit for prototyping and evaluation of your idea and also you know if 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 you are using any specific development board, they come up with a specific protocol. If you want to use ARM-based processor-oriented development board, they come up with their own software, their own IDE, and their own procedural manual how to use that and how to implement your idea on those development board. most example or most uh, favorite example is arduino uno development board we know that arduino development board right so arduino development board comes with its own id that is arduino id and it comes with a certain instruction how to develop your idea using arduino uno development board so there are so many examples again in this uh, development board but one of them is uh, you know arduino is most popular and this tutorial is centered around arduino and we have raspberry pi which is one of the most amazing uh, mini computer i can say and also we have a stm32 based or stm8 based development boards and we also have a esp espressif company esp uh, development boards which are responsible for iot applications and iot integration uh, conceptualization so these are are the different different definitions with respect to our entire tutorial i hope you guys are clear now i hope you guys are clear about sensors clear about actuators clear about controllers and also a development board so now my one more important definition or one more slogan you must remember is 
Arduino is not a controller nor a processor. It is an development board. You must remember this one. Most of the students say that Arduino is a controller. But do remember, Arduino is not a controller nor a processor. It is an development board. I hope you understood the basic definitions about this particular terminologies and I hope you enjoyed the entire tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency. Tune yourself to make a difference.